Good morning. Good morning. So this is day four of Tokyo Disney Resort, but day two of Tokyo Disney Sea. If you can't tell, I am losing my voice. <laughs> I don't know if I'm having too much fun or it's like the abrupt change in weather. So we went from like 95 degrees humidity in Florida. And if you can't tell, I'm wearing like jeans and a jacket and it's chilly today. And it's been like these chilly winds like the last few days, especially with like the rain and everything. But like, I feel like a million bucks, but I have no voice. <laughs> so I actually got this drink this morning. I have no idea what it is. Um, it had a picture of honey and a letter C on it and some lemon. Uh, let me see. Am I on the right side? Oh, no, sorry. It's on both sides. Actually. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So, yes, it had a letter C. It showed lemon and it showed honey. So I figured, like, hopefully that'll help me, like, moisten my throat and make my voice sound normal again. <laughs> But I apologize if I sound like a weirdo for the next few days because my voice is like shot from having too much fun. Uh, for now though, I think we're gonna head to the monorail station, head to Disney Sea. It could be a little rain this morning, but it said it should stop around 9 a.m. and then the sun should come out around 2 p.m., which should be phenomenal. Um, today we don't have any big sit-down dining plans. We do have a couple quick servers, the possibility of uh, having drinks at Teddy Roosevelt Lounge, but I'm not sure if we wanna like take a break during the day and come back to the hotel and rest because we are exhausted. I've been going a little too hard, I think, for the first like three days and we're just like, we're losing our oomph. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but stay tuned. We're gonna go ahead and head to the park and hopefully it's not too crowded today, but we'll hopefully. check it out in a few minutes. Yep. We keep getting the really cute anniversary. Place the anniversary somewhere you're on. It's really cute. Why is everything so freaking cute here? Why can't our monorails operate this smoothly and beautiful? <laughs> so far, this is my favorite monorail this trip. There's a Toy Story one too, and then like a basic one as well, but this is my favorite. Oh wow, we made it! Oh my gosh, so today's a Wednesday, and now it's so much easier getting into the park. Oh my god, Monday was atrocious. Monday, like even by 9.30, there was still a huge line, but we just breathed through security and breathed right through the ticket gates. Um, but heads up, if you come here, security, there's like bag checkers, and then there's lines that have like um, airport scanners. Go through those so you can just put your bag down and it goes right through. It's so much easier. <laughs> yeah. We learned from the other day, like the bag checking one goes a lot slower of a process. Yeah. But if you do the airport scanner ones, it just zooms right through there, as long as you don't have anything in your pockets. And I think they told you to take off your hat one time or something. Uh, I, I take off my hat and I take my bag off. I leave my phone and my wallet and all my change in my pocket and it goes right through. Yeah, so I would highly recommend going through that. It's so much easier than our security. It is way easier, yeah. <laughs> but they still do the same stuff, so yeah. yeah. I know last time I didn't record us walking in because I was like in such a hurry because it was so freaking crowded. We were just like pushing and, <laughs> and it was raining. So hopefully no rain today. Keep your fingers crossed, no rain. Look at that beautiful view of Mount Prometheus and scaffolding. <laughs> I know you're so bummed about the scaffolding being on there. I guess they're always working on something. So yeah. Trying to, I didn't think that the Leonardo's thing was gonna like, yeah. be that high. Up, I guess. The Leonardo it's challenge thing. I think it's like closed for like three or six months or something for a big reefer. But uh, yeah, there's like tons of scaffolding. Every time I come here, I've never gotten a perfect view, but I still think it's beautiful no matter what. Just like you. Oh. <laughs> Just like you too. I think we're gonna go to Mama Biscotti's again, probably for that coffee drink. That tapioca drink was the bomb.com. That's pretty good. Yeah, because yeah. I've had the iced coffee at other stores and it is not very delicious. Yeah. But that tapioca latte is good. Nothing's compared so far here yet. Yeah, all right, we're gonna see if the app has uploaded yet because we got in before nine, so it hadn't uploaded wait times or anything like that. So we'll see what we get into. Looks like we're getting in line for some Tower of Terror. What a great way to start your morning by screaming on a scary ride. <laughs> My goodness, I can't wait to experience this ride. It's been so long. There's the man, the myth, the legend, Joe Root. <laughs> Uh oh, that doesn't bode well. If you want a Tower of Terror or specific merch, this is basically your only choice. It's these two pins. I think they're probably like 1100. Yeah, 1100 yen. It's like nine US dollars. But they have few and far between pins, but they are cute pins. Like they have a Mickey Mouse one, the Green Aliens, Toy Story Mania, Tower of Terror, Tower of Terror, and somehow a random Dalmatian one. And King's Triton. King Triton's concert, which hasn't existed since COVID, so. 
Oh, we have a genie one over here too, so. Yep. I collect some pins. I got one for Who's Honey Hunt, which I really like this time. Oh, and look, they also have these pins. I didn't even see those. That's kind of cool. How much is that? 2,000 yen, so about 17 US dollars right now. But those are really nice. So what are your thoughts on the, um, I almost said Space Mountain. Goodness. <laughs> the Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror. Uh, and it's pretty good here. Um, and it's got a really, uh, a really cool backstory. Really um, creepy. I think it's creepier yeah, than ours. It's definitely creepy. The uh, Twilight Zone is creepy, but the uh, little idol Shakira and Tindu thing gives me the, <laughs> the creep. gives me the creeps. <laughs> and it's like this little laugh gives me the creeps every time. Um, but it was a cool story. It had the cool um, free show. Yeah, it had a really cool free show that had a Pepper's Ghost effect again. And I yeah. can't figure out for the life of me like how they do it. But yeah. it's really cool. The free show is amazing. It's pretty easy to gather. Um, they have some stuff outside that explains the storyline. But yeah. basically, this dude Joe Road, you no, know, his he's Harrison Hightower on this ride. Yeah. He like keep stealing uh, stuff but he stole like the wrong idol yeah. and then Shakira and Tundu when he collected it I guess he like killed him threw him in an elevator yeah threw him in an elevator and killed him I guess he's like a ghost now yeah he's like a ghost yeah. yeah so then we go in the elevator and you know we go through everything but this time I swear like it's been about three years since I've been on it I swear there's more drops on it so. feels like it yeah it feels like there's three or four drops and it yeah. shakes you yeah, but it doesn't like shoot you up as fast as ours. It's like, no, yeah, it kind of then it drops. Then, yeah. <laughs> but no, all in all, I really liked it. It's very similar to the technology used at Disneyland California, where you go like back. Yeah, and then you go into up. the like yep. where ours in Disney World you go up right away and then forward, forward and down. down. Yeah, which takes a lot because then when you go back down at the end you have to go back into the thing. That's then right. The car we have moves to like twist and stuff in ours. Yeah. So this one I guess you just kind of end in one single shaft, which is probably easier. Save yeah. space. But we got really lucky. It was only like a 15 minute wait, and yep. even now the waits are like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Obviously, soaring is probably like super long. But the rest of them are really short, so I think we're going to take advantage of that right now. Yeah. I think it's about time we're going to head to Port Discovery, maybe, to get to the uh, Mysterious Island. But we're going to ride the American Waterfront and the Electric Railway. Got to head upstairs. I hear it coming. Wow, it doesn't look like the weights are going to be bad at all today. So come on a Wednesday, everybody, for real. Wednesdays are where it's at. Don't come on a Monday because we were here on Monday and this place was atrociously crowded. And look, there's just so much walking space today. Oh, I'm so happy.
開いた本日はディズニーシーエレクトリックレールウェイをご利用いただきありがとうございました This area is absolutely stunning. That has to be my favorite land in all of Disney Sea. Mysterious Island, the whole Jules Verne theming is just absolutely incredible. Like, I just can't get over it. You see the 20,000 leagues under the sea, the Nautilus here. That's where we got the gyoza bun the other day and the kiwi gin drink, where I learned I have an allergy to kiwi, by the way. Fun fact. <laughs> my lip was burning after I drank it, so I discovered I had a slight allergy to kiwi. Luckily, it wasn't more severe than that. Oh wow, the steam liner! What great timing. Could this place be any more magical? Like, seriously. Scott's in his like element waving to everybody. I love it! I like this place too. As an engineer, I, I feel like I appreciate this place a lot. It's yeah. So cool. It's absolutely amazing. Like, they even have this like drill up here that's themed for the journey to the center of the earth. Like, the theming here. I can't. It's just, I don't even see the rest of the parking here. We're like hidden from the rest of the world. So I don't see another land in sight. It's absolutely incredible. I know I've said it a million times, but seriously, I mean every word of it. We checked the app and it said journey to center of the earth was about a 40 minute wait. So I decided to spoil myself and go ahead and get the premier access for it today. And what's awesome is the premier access was literally like four minutes later. So technically like I bought it like five minutes ago and we could go ahead and already go on journey to the center of the earth. We have that, we, technically we have Teddy Roosevelt Lounge reservations, I'm not sure if we're gonna go today. I have another set for Friday, so we might go then. And then we went ahead and got a viewing area tonight for Sea of Dreams, because, <laughs> because uh, it's not supposed to rain tonight, and I don't know what the weather's gonna be like Friday, and I have to see the show. We did viewing area too, there's like two viewing areas, I hope we got a good one, I have absolutely no idea. No matter what, I'm gonna enjoy my time, and I'm gonna really enjoy the show. But I think it's about time, we're gonna head to Journey to the Center of the Earth, and from there, who knows? Probably the Mermaid Lagoon area to ride all the kitty rides because they're all like five minutes right now. Yeah. Oh, here comes the steam liner again. We gotta ride that today. I mean, I just can't get over how little crowd there is today. Like, we were pushing and shoving people on Monday. It was atrocious. And today it's just like there's so much space, all the lines are low. So if you can come to Tokyo Disney, come on a weekday. Most like a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is probably going to be the best time. Monday was bad. I know Friday's going to get crowded, so Wednesday is beautiful though. Come on a Wednesday. <laughs> All right, see if you can get the Mickey. So perfect. There you go. Come on. Yay, Boop. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Is that water ice cold? It's uh, always it ice cold. Pretty, it is pretty cold. Yeah. I, I will. Yes, cold. it is very cold. But yeah, you can find these in the Mysterious Island. On the way from Mysterious Island to the Mermaid Lagoon area, which is where we're heading now because the lines are really short over there. Mermaid Lagoon! When we were here Monday, it was pouring rain, so this place was just like hella crowded. Oh my gosh! Because it's the one like inside of the like, place of the park, so everyone was hiding inside there. But there are some rides down here, and there's a roller coaster way off in the distance. I think we're gonna try to hit up all these rides, see how long the waits are. Scuttle scooters, here we come! What you doing? and hold on to them hands and glasses. Wouldn't want anything to get lost up here. Oh, but a <laughs> The scuttle scooter things are so freaking cute. But now I think we're gonna go on the flounder flying fish coaster. I haven't even been on that ever in all three trips. Oh, pull left. Oh, hold on. <laughs> You're not riding the right with me? Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> You're like, I'm just gonna go to the Arabian coast. See you later. <laughs> See you. By no means are we like huge Americans, right? Like we're pretty average, slender size. Yeah. We could barely fit our two fat butts in that roller coaster. I was crammed in there. Like a little if sardine. If you were one inch taller, you would not fit because his knees had like a no. millimeter of space. No space, I know. I was locked in there. Oh my goodness. So yeah, that was a very small ride. I highly recommend if you're a big person. 
Uh, just sit one per vehicle if you can. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I think we might go eat some lunch. I'm too hungry right now. Let's go. I think we're gonna head into the Arabian coast for some curry. Yeah, that sounds really good. And hopefully we're gonna beat the lunch crowds because it's only 10.30. I found a few eat lunch around 10 or 10.30. It's definitely not as crowded. I'd avoid like 11.30 to 1 o'clock. I'll be back for you curry popcorn. I swear, I promise at one point I'm gonna get it. <laughs> So empty in the park. Look at this. There's like nobody here. I can't get over this. So we're gonna head into the Caspa food court for some curry. I'm very excited for this. It's chilly today, so it's like a perfect day for it. So for the Caspa food court right now, we get the curry sampler with the medium beef curry, mild true curry with tandoori chicken. They have the beef curry medium, chicken curry mild, vegetable curry medium, and they're all served with rice and naan. You can also get some sides. You have salad in a cup and you can get the tandoori chicken just by itself. And for dessert, they have the peach milk strawberry jelly dessert. We're gonna go inside and see if they have any special things for the 40th anniversary, because I'm sure they do. But that looks delicious. To give you an idea of the physical look of stuff, ooh, I might get that mango and raspberry drink. That looks good. That's the curry sampler that I think I'm probably gonna get so I can get a little bit of everything. They got that salad in a cup. They got the jellied dessert. It looks like you can buy a straw with a straw cleaner here too, it's like an extra. And here's our curry. So that's the beef, that's the chicken, and then there's the tandoori chicken by itself. And then that must be the vegetable curry. I got that mango drink and I'm so excited to try it. Oh my gosh, it looks so colorful. Here's our sampler of curry. Ooh wee, that looks yummy. I think they gave us a real silver one too here. We got our napkins too. The napkins that absorb nothing, but they're still napkins. <laughs> oh, this smells so good, especially on this chilly morning. And it's so slow. There's, I'm like, I still, I've said it a million times, but this park is dead today. I'm so happy. All right, I'm gonna try some of the beef. This one I think was medium, right? Medium, uh, spice. medium spice, correct. Yeah. So if you don't like spicy, I wouldn't get the beef. Mm. But the shrimp, I believe, is mild. Should be, I think, based on what it said. Yeah, There's two all. curries on either side. With some Let's rice and naan and tandoori chicken in the middle. Mm. It's very good. It's good. more sweet, yeah. The shrimp is in hot though. It's like chilled shrimp that they just like throw on top of there so they put the curry there. I think that's good though, because curry is usually hot, mm. so I think a chilled shrimp would kind of yeah, complement it. Yeah, keeps the consistency of the shrimp being very firm and yeah. really good. And I don't know how good this is going to break off the spoon. Oh, there you go. So this is the tandoori chicken. So if you don't want to eat a whole lot, you can always buy this by itself. Mmm. Mm. Definitely juicier than the chicken last night. Yeah. This is literally the perfect meal. I think it was um, 1,300 yen. Yep. It's about 10 US dollars for this big meal. Mm -hmm. Very fulfilling for a lunch. I have a full day. I can't leave this easy. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Thank you. That meal was so good and fulfilling. Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it a lot. That was really, I feel very full now. Yeah, I didn't record me drinking the drink, but it tastes a lot like that mango drink that you can get at like Boma. It's the mango lassi drink. Oh, so good. I feel content, like not super full because the portion sizes here are just perfect. They're not too big. We decided it was time to take a little break and get this coffee drink because they don't have this at Tokyo Disneyland. And I mean, I tried to research and see if they did, but the tapioca coffee drink, oh my gosh, it's so good. And I got the new seasonal brioche. It's like the orange scented brioche that they have for the 40th anniversary. So I'm gonna cut into this and show y'all what it looks like. Let's see if I can cut into this delicately. They didn't have any plastic uh, knife. I'm trying to show you what it looks like in the center. Ooh. You can kind of see it actually more on this side. Let me turn it around. There's where you can see the orange, and like the custard. Mm, looks good. Yeah, I definitely got some napkins because I figured it was going to be messy. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can get a nice bite. Let's see, where's that orange over here? Oh my gosh, it's going to be messy. Good, really good. Good. Mm. Looks tasty. 
reminds me of the consistency, like, even more like a Dunkin' Donuts, like not Krispy Kreme. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like a Dunkin' Donuts donut. But that orange is like an orange marmalade and that light custard. Ooh, that's good. Sorry, I was watching this bird, like a hawk. I'm like, <laughs> they have these tiny little birds that try to eat all this stuff. <laughs> this is delicious. And I'm gonna wash it down with that tapioca coffee drink. I'm in heaven. <laughs> So we went into the stationery store and usually they have mystery boxes for like plastic figurines but they had these ones that were like poofy so they were like kind of like not stuffed animals but kind of like uh what is it called like the badges that they sell here um for people to attach to their bags but they have a baymax one so it's all stuff that has to do with tokyo disney so baymax for the happy baymax ride aquatopia vehicle small world they have uh, this from Finding Nemo, teacups, and then a mystery. And they don't give you like the shadow of the mystery, so I have no idea what the mystery is. But I really hope I get Baymax. I like shook it around, it felt really dense. So it feels like it's gonna be either Baymax probably or the teacups, but let's see. All right, let's see. Let's see what it oh, is. Oh, and by the way, it's 1,200 yen, so like 10, 10 US dollars. Yep. I'm so nervous. Scott said if it's someone I don't want, he'll just take it. <laughs> Yeah, I'll put it on mine then. But maybe... <gasps> it's Baymax! I knew oh, it! Oh, she was right! Oh, my theory was correct. She was in the store. I was shaking Shaking all. each one. <laughs> oh, it's Baymax! Baymax! I am Baymax. That is so cute! It's cool. He's riding his little happy car. Yeah! Oh, I'm so happy I got that one. Yay. That's pretty cool. Thanks! Yay! So thank you, Scott! <laughs> Now that the lagoon show just ended, we can get on the gondolas. So when there's something on the lagoon, whether it's the daytime or the nighttime show, you can't get on the gondolas or the steam liner because obviously the parade is taking up the space on the water. That's where we had our pizza yesterday. It's so beautiful outside right now. <laughs> this into multiple parts for today since we've done so much uh, but remember to hit the like button and make sure to leave a comment subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of our next video upload and until then stay bright and colorful friends and I will see you in the park